everyone, so it's been like a bajillion years since I've uploaded a video, and I'm sorry, I'm a college student, and I work, so, anyway, it's almost bedtime, so I'm going to do a video, because I'm bored, and I've got to go to um, I'm not tired, and I can just sleep in the morning, so why not, so, anyway, um, something that a lot of people have been, um, really asking me about now that it's summertime, and I take Goonie everywhere, is this whole taking your bread outside thing. Now, I have some people who are totally against it. They think that it's irresponsible, that, um, that, you know, your bird should get eaten by something, which is, I guess, possible. Um, probable, maybe not, but possible. Um, you know, your bird can catch some sort of infectious disease, the like. Uh, by the way, if something flies at me, it's probably Bijou, who, I don't know what she is right now. I have a lovebird. I'll probably do a video all about lovebirds, because they seem to be pretty popular. Um, so, this whole outside thing. Um, you get some people who are totally for it, like I said, and people who are totally against it. Me, personally, I really think it depends on a lot of things. I live up north, like way up north, and we have really harsh winters. So in the winter, going outside, there's Jesus, great, right there. Um, going outside in the winter is obviously not feasible. Um, now, normally, my rule of thumb is that if there's snow on the ground, the birds can't go outside. Although um, in March we did have a very hot spell, and it was. Actually, it was at the end of April. We had snow banks, and it was plus 25, um, which is perfect for him. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. I got sunburned that day. It was, it was beautiful outside. Um, so he got to play in the snow that day. So he's probably never going to be able to experience ever again. Um, he loved it. Um, Goody goes a lot. Um, he goes out a lot more now that he is um, <laughs> Pia. What a cute. He just walked across the top of my hermit crab tank. Um, now that he is a lot more socialized, and I told you, you didn't come and say hi, baby. Um, now that he's a lot more socialized and he's getting a lot better, I take him out as often as I can. Um, tomorrow I have the day off, and I plan on spending my day off um, fixing up a baby carriage. I found a baby carriage at my apartment building that was being thrown out. So I'm going to alter it, uh, put a couple perches on it, so that I can use it for when he goes out for a walk. He was raised with a woman who had really bad hands. He's got absolutely no confidence in people carrying him, um, and he freaks out. So hopefully I can give him the perch, and it doesn't really matter if he likes the perch. It's not going to do anything, right? Um, and it also gives me a break. Like, you know, when you're walking down the street and you're holding a one-pound bird like this for 45 minutes, your arm gets tired. And it's got a basket, it's a line yard, so I'm very excited for that. Um, now, these little guys, like something BG size or Kia size, is, it's harder to take them out uh, for several reasons. A, you have to try to find some sort of apparatus to hold them that's small enough for these guys. Aviators are too big in their smallest size. Um, as far as I know, there isn't even a feather tether close to this. Um, so really your only option, if you do want to bring something this side outside, would be a, um, would be a flight suit. And you can get flight suits for guys this size. Actually, they, they actually come, um, Kia's is the second smallest size of these small Bijou. So, it's possible, but harder, because not only do you have to get a very special kind of harness, but... You have to get a very special kind of bird. Bijou is scared of nothing. I can, he, I have um, a foster cat this summer, and she just had three kittens, and he flies into the box to socialize and play with the kitten, and Mona will be batting him away, and he just comes back for more. Um, so this guy's scared of nothing. We go everywhere together, um, and he just loves it. Goonie's a little bit more spooky, so it really, we really have to watch where we go, and I have to make sure that I have a a towel and a kennel for him, just in case things get a little out of hand. Um, 
another thing you have to watch for is the weather. Now, I know the extreme colds are obvious, but you really have to watch the hot. Um, I just read an email the other day from uh, Chet Womack, who is a brilliant bird trainer down in the south. Um, and he had found an article of um, an Amazon who was left in the car, and the bird passed away of heat stroke, of heat stroke um, because he just simply got too hot. So if you notice that it's very hot outside, it's probably best to leave your bird at home. Um, now as far as being hot inside a house, that's a different thing. There's lots of water, it's not sunny, um, it's not as stressful as an environment. You stress out a bird and then put it outside, it's, it's not a good combination. Um, so you really want to be careful about the weather. Um, you also want to be careful about where you're going. Um, if you know that you're going to be somewhere where there's going to be a lot of dogs and your bird has not been socialized around dogs, I strongly suggest you reconsider. Because someone like Bijou could care less. You probably want to fly at the dog to see what the dog is doing. Um, so for me, it's more making sure that I have a good hold on him because if he ever got the chance, he'd want to visit with everybody. Um, and I don't trust other dogs in that sense because most dogs are a, a little fluffy ear, a little feathery thing his size flies past and they're going to snap at it. The flip side to that is if your dog's not socialized with, or your bird is not socialized with dogs and a dog comes up to him, you never know what's going to happen. You, the dog might overreact, the dog might bite somebody and hurt somebody, and who knows, the dog could be super friendly and just wants to see where it is, or it could be really, you know, it's got a big prey drive and you lose your bird in the process. So you really have to be careful with other people's animals as far as that goes. Another thing is babies, kids, and older people. Um, or, I guess, uh, people who don't understand what you're saying, someone who speaks a different language. Um, you really have to be careful that nothing happens to upset these people. So, something that I tell people when I take Junior out all the time is please do not stick your fingers in his face. He's very friendly with me. If you'd like to pet him, let me know. I'll, you know, I'll take care of his head, you can pet his back, his wings, you know, whatever. Um, because I don't want you to get hurt. And I know that people will say to you, well, I don't care if he bites me. Well, you don't care now, but when you go to the hospital and you have eight stitches in your finger, you're going to care, and they're going to ask. And I don't want to put myself in that situation. Bijou, on the other hand, could care less. He's going to play all the time again. But Bijou, um, he's, he's one of those birds that you could do anything with, and he just you just don't care. Ah! Whoopsie, I dropped you. I'm sorry. Mwah! Um, so I tell people all the time, the worst that's going to happen is he's going to fly at you. So I warn people, you know, be careful because he might fly at you. So you really have to be, you have to know your bird as far as that goes. If you know your bird's not going to hurt anybody with 100% certainty, then tell people, no, he's very friendly, don't worry about it. If your bird's more like Goonie, you never know, tell them. You know, please don't stick your fingers in his face. He's going to bite you. Um, something else is people often offer to give Goonie food uh, because he's a big bird. Now, I have had to tell people, no, he can't have that. I'm sorry. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll carry some of his favorites. He loves carrots. He loves pretzel sticks. So I buy unsalted pretzels, baby carrots. We bring them out with us. And if somebody asks, hey, can I give him something? And he really warms up to them, here, give him a carrot. He'll love you forever. Um, a friend of mine works at Pet Value and knows that Goonie likes pasta, so whenever we go and she's eating lunch, if she has pasta, she'll give him a piece. Um, so, those are some things to consider when you bring your bird outside. Um, just be smart about it, make sure that your bird's wings are clipped, and even though your bird's wings are clipped, I strongly suggest that it's still tethered to you. You never know what's going to happen, you never know when he's going to jump into the mouth of the dog, you never know if there's going to be a gust of wind or a very fast driving car. Don't chance it. It's worth the $20 to not lose your six or $700 bird, your $1,200 bird, your baby. It's not worth it. So if you have any questions, um, leave me a comment, inbox me, whatever. Um, I'll try to get back to you. I know I've been, there's a lot of people that have been commenting. I haven't had a chance to get back to you. Um, so bear with me. If you have any questions, let me know. And take your birds outside. Do you have any questions? No Joe as I've said about eight times, and I hope you learn something, because other people are going to learn when you bring your birds outside, it's not just you, so, there you go.